morning. We've made it to the end of another work week. It's time for morning prayer and coffee. James 5.16 The effective fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. 1 Thessalonians 5.17 Pray without ceasing. Daniel 6.10 Now when Daniel knew that the writing was signed, he went home and in his upper room with his windows open toward Jerusalem, he knelt down upon his knees three times that day and prayed and gave thanks before his God, as was his custom since early days. Daniel didn't just pray when he had a bad day. He prayed every day. He didn't just dial up a 911 prayer when he was in the lion's den. Prayer was a part of the rhythm of his life. Prayer was his life, and his life was prayer. No doubt Daniel prayed with greater fervency the night he was thrown into the lion's den, but that fervency was a byproduct of his faithfulness in prayer. Daniel approached every situation, every opportunity, every challenge, and every person with prayer. Prayer invites God into the equation, and when that happens, anything is possible and nothing is impossible. It doesn't matter who you are or what you do. If you have a life of prayer, then you know where you'll go and what you'll do and who you'll meet in prayer. So let's pray. Father, we're praying today about our prayers. If there was ever a time to call your children to prayer, your church to prayer, it's today. It's now. With the chaos in our world and in our nation, Lord, it's time to call your people to prayer. You command us for our own good not to merely listen to the word, but to do what it says. If we only listen and do not obey, your word says we deceive ourselves. Help us to comprehend that the word of God is the perfect law of liberty and that your word tells us to pray. God of heaven and earth, I give you praise this morning. You are not a man that you should lie, nor the son of man that you should change your mind. You speak and then you act. You promise and your promises are yes and amen. You are always faithful and how great I, grateful I am to know that you are truth. Your truth lives in me, O God, and will be with me forever. Lord, hear our prayers. Let us see and experience your power in this season of time. Fill us with your spirit. Let us speak your words with authority and let your word be confirmed with healings and with signs and wonders. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, we pray. Amen.